So welcome to another episode of the Apothecary Diaries. Now, the previous episode was really good. Really, really good. I was wondering where this arc is gonna take us, but I feel like the previous episode kind of started moving the gears along with this arc, and I feel like we are currently going full speed ahead. And I am so interested to find out more about all of the cases that I feel like we have like five ongoing cases that weren't completely solved in the back and at some point they're all just going to intermingle with each other and people are gonna get like connected that we don't didn't ever think are gonna be connected and I'm so excited to see that because I feel like there are so many cases we still need to need to solve or we kind of close them like the immediate danger was closed or the immediate conclusion was drawn but they haven't been completely solved so I am extremely extremely curious about them also we saw a new consort who or it's not a consort it's a concubine she's not a consort yet so is am i getting my terminology correct i feel like is the consort the concubine that the emperor chooses to be like the main one is that the consort or no because that's what i always thought it was like all the people who aren't chosen to be like the main girl are concubines and then when an emperor chooses one of them to be like the wife, the queen, the whatever it is, um, the, what's it called? Nuang, I guess. It's, she becomes a consort. Is that correct? Uh, I might be completely wrong. That's my interpretation of it. Or at least that's my understanding of it. Um, let me know. Anyways, so we saw her, uh, Luolan. Yeah, Luolan. And she is creepy. Also, she seems completely robotic. She did not say a single word. She did not make any expressive expressions um or actions so that's that's wild she seems like she's a doll but i don't know i guess we'll find out what's up with her she's really pretty though her eyes are huge she's really pretty um we also had a case with an exploding warehouse so i wonder what that's about we saw one thing that i kind of forgot about that in the scene with the warehouse is that we saw Lakan, like, taking a look at the warehouse, and he, I'm pretty sure he saw, someone left a comment saying that he did see the pipe on the floor, but he didn't take it. Probably the most logical conclusion is that he didn't take it because, well, he wasn't allowed to, right? Mama wasn't allowed to take it either, but she just did, because the detectives or the military officers or whatever had to uh, take a look at the scene of the crime. So it's not that strange that Lakan didn't take it, um, because why would he? So... But I still don't remember if we did see... I'm pretty sure we saw that pipe somewhere. But I don't want to look it up because I'm sure it's going to get... Like, they're going to tell us. So I'm not going to be too stressed about it. They're going to tell us. So I guess we'll find out. Anything else? Oh yeah, Mama's lesson. Mama's lesson was so fun. She was giving lessons about how to seduce a man, basically, to all of the concubines. And they were having so much fun. At least... Li Hua and Gyokuyo were having so much fun. It was so nice to see. And then poor, poor um, Li Shu was way too young to hear all of that. She was not having it. It was it was a crazy day for her. <laughs> I felt bad for her because she's definitely way too pure for that. And then also we have Lo Lan who did not seem to care at all about it. So anyways, I'm excited to see where we go from this. Um, I... Don't know if it's gonna be this, more of the same things, just a lot of the cases that are gonna be slowly intermingling into one another. I don't know, or if there's gonna be something else. I guess we'll find out. If you wanna watch this Uncut and Unblurred, it's gonna be on my Patreon, link in the description down below. And without further ado, let's go into The Apothecary Diaries, episode 15. Mm, yep. I feel like we haven't solved it, but yeah. Mm, here he is. That's our Kurtasan. Yeah, Lakan, that's his name, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I know that voice. Raw fish. Uh oh, are we going to be seeing Lishu? Oh no. Don't bother Lishu, please. Oh no. Lishu, please. Oh no. Don't bother Lishu, please. Oh no. Don't bother Lishu, please. Oh no. Don't 
I love how affectionate he is towards her. Meet Shama. Fugu. No, 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 that's dangerous. この度、その手の料理屋に連れて行きますから。これがどうしたのですか。私が<笑><笑> I actually don't know how lethal pufferfish poison is. Is it lethal lethal? Or is it just like it's gonna give you a bad bad stomachache? Mm. He knows that. ふふ。今回生すには、フグの皮と身を指揮したものを使っていたそうです。それを食べて昏睡状態に陥ったと。フグの身ですかいや。毒がいや。You I don't think so. I think it's been disguised as fugu poison. I think it's been a deliberate poisoning. Fugu を調理に使っていないと言い張っているのですよ。面白そうな話ですね。共通点はそれだけではありません。倒れた二人。今回の役人と前回の商人は共に美食家で珍味を好んでいました。so it was a disguise. Ah, uh, the gills. Ah, uh, the was this what we saw? Is this what we saw? The guy who also poisoned the guy with salt? Was this the thing that happened? Because we only saw him for like one scene and then it cut away from it. I completely forgot about that scene. So, was that what happened there? Was he the one that poisoned them? Maybe. I have a feeling it was, but we don't know who that is. Mama still thinks that she knows, right? Um, I'm pretty sure Mama said that she knows who uh, who poisoned the guy with salt, right? I don't know who did it, but hmm, interesting. ガオシュン様、もう少し情報を集めてきてもらえますか。わかりました。調べておきます。今の季節なら生ゴミを数日置いていたとしてもおかしくはない。別の魚を使ったという話も残りガスが見つかっていて矛盾はない。<笑>さすがにその顔は俺の気。オーマイ。ガオシュンの話を焼きに熱心に聞いた。ダウズ。面白い。ファイトファイト。人は身を傾けるものですから。おい、ちょっと待て。お前俺の話はよく途中で。それ
。ありがとうございます。湯引きした魚に細切りの野菜を加えて酢で和え、生酢の作り方に特におかしなところはないですね。酢の配合は何種類か書かれていますが、材料は詳しく書かれていません。おそらく、季節によって手に入る魚や野菜が変わるからでしょう。これでは肝心の何を使って作ったかがわかりませんね。わからないのか<笑>話に加わりたいらしい。うん、ね、何がわからないってあお,お食事前ですから。わかっている。<笑>いや、いや。事件が起きたのは一週間ほど前です。冬場の野菜となると、生酢の材料は大根か人参といったところですかそれが、海藻を使ったと言っていまして。海藻ですか海藻です。珍味を好むということは、変わった海藻を入れることもあるだろう。<笑>もしよろしければ、その家の厨房を見せてもらうことはできませんかシーウィード。サルト。うん。What is she cooking here? ガオシュン様からここに来るようにと言われたのですが。バセン。バセン。話を聞いて。マオマオです。Okay, for a second I thought maybe the guy who poisoned the guys, but it's not. I was waiting for his eyes to open to see if it's blue or not. It's not. Nice close up <laughs> of a CG horse. はい。さすがガオシュン様、仕事が。I feel like I'm so desensitized to CG horses. I feel like in every single anime nowadays, I just expect dragons and horses to be CG. I feel like it's so commonplace. Also armies as well. I feel like those three elements are like staple in anime nowadays to be just CG. And I'm so used to it by now. I don't even, I don't mind it anymore. Also, CG is getting better and better. So he does look. He kind of looks like Li Haku. Maybe? He looks like Tina Lihako. Hmm. ちゃんと奥方に確認は取っています。それにこれは仕事ですので。そうでは本当か。入ってもよろしいか。ああ、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。
By the way, question, question. Are they in fictional China or are they like in actual China and we know like which part of the actual country they're in? Or are they in just like a fictional place that kind of resembles chi actual China uh, or something like that? I don't know. Uh, is it like completely a fictional world or are there actual countries, like real life countries in this? I don't know. わかってくれたらしい。なら私も私のやるべきことをやろう。なんだこれは。屋敷から持ってきた海藻です。事前に2つに分けて水にさらしておきました。なぜ人種さん調べたところ<笑> やはり海藻は南方から持ち込まれたものでした。下南の証言では、囚人の牛馬で、その海藻を食べることはなかったとのことでした。料理人からも普段使っている海藻と同じ種類、毒の発言がいい。同じ海藻なら毒がないというわけ
You're the problem, Mama. Oh, never mind. He's not talking about Mama. Lihaku? Or not Lihaku? Uh, Lakan? Lakan, I'm guessing. Go Shogi and Rumors. What's up, Mama? Yes, Wait, why? What's up? I need to see inside your head. You're way smarter than I am. I need you to explain stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it is Lakan. この男の名は色ごとなど全く興味ないのかと思っていたが、どんな技術ですか? <笑> よのなかうまくいかないものでね。物好きの金持ちが二人。競い合うように根を釣り上げていった。それはそれは時に技術の見受け金は利休が一つ立つほどの額になるとわお。可愛いものの技術でしてね。しかしそんな話をして。いや、
。やつには三人の子供がいて、弟子にしていたんですが。秘伝と呼ぶ技術を伝えぬまま言ってしまったのが。<笑> okay. プンプパンダ、okay. 彼の思わせぶりな遺言が何かの手がかりだと思うんですよ。それが引っかかっていてね。It's gonna be empty, man. I've seen that before. 何が言いたいのでしょうか。いや、何に大したことではない。その秘伝の技術を知るすべがないかと思ったまでです。うん、例えば。頭の回るそちらの下女が調べてくれ。Fuck you guy, don't you dare step in the periphery of Mama's vision, man. とりあえず話だけでも聞かせてもらえないでしょうか。You're disgusting. よく振るな。Okay. So, okay, this episode was interesting. What I feel like the case with obviously with the brothers' poisoning, the guy's brothers' poisoning, felt extremely, extremely easy. And I feel like the only reason that it was even brought up was because we got to see that there was another person who. May have perpetrated everything or orchestrated everything because he probably told the guy's brother that there's the seaweed that needs to be soaked in lime water, and if it's not, it's gonna be poisonous. And that guy was like, "Okay, bet. Let me poison my brother." So now we're gonna be searching for that guy, and I feel like that guy is the same guy who poisoned the guy with. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of guys here who poisoned the guy with salt, right? Right. Uh, that's more of a theory. It's not confirmed, but I feel like he's the same guy.、Um, also, this new guy, this new officer, seems really cool. I really like his attitude. He reminds me of Li Haku, like、uh, appearance-wise, but like less built. But maybe not. I don't know. Lakan is disgusting. I am、um, that you, you. You, no matter what you do, you cannot fix a character. Like you cannot make me like a character that's that talks about forcing yourself on a girl or something like that. That's that's、uh, that's disgusting. I'm not gonna even attempt to like that guy. So apart from that, I feel like this was more of a setup episode. I was really hope like we were setting up a lot of behind the scenes stuff here. I really want to see more of Lolan. She and just I just love seeing the concubines in general. <laughs> I feel like the concubines are just my favorite part of, like my favorite characters are the concubines,、mm, apart from obviously Mal Mal. But I really want to see more of them. Mal Mal was hilarious this episode as well. She was so cute. I really liked her. Obviously, I always like her. But yeah.、Um, anything else? I feel like that's all of the major beats that happened here.、Mm, I wonder how they're gonna start connecting and when they're gonna start connecting. Oh yeah, Mal Mal's mom. That obviously seemed、uh, like that looked just like Mama's mom would look like, right? When they showed her, she had the same color hair as Mama, and she had like the braid that's similar to Mama, or not the braid, but like the it's not a ponytail. It's I guess it's a braid. I don't know what it's called, but she had that, and also she worked at the courthouse, so the same courthouse. So, and she said, or Lakan said that she was offering. Services in, or she was offering her skills instead of her body, which kind of seems similar to Mao Mao, and also, also that would explain why Lakan is so interested in Mao Mao, right? I feel like that would be the case. I don't know though. We don't know much about Mao Mao's actual parents. I'm still pretty certain that Loman is not her the actual dad,、uh, but obviously it's not been confirmed either. Anyways. I guess that's gonna be all for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.